joined by head coach Kobe Carl after the defenders win over the Salt Lake City Stars. Coach, this was a close one. You guys had to fight back. Uh, in, that, in those final minutes, Justin Harper had the, the go-ahead basket, and then David Nwaba took the charge, and then you guys hit free throws the rest of the way. What was the sort of moment to you that stood out in those final minutes? Um, you know, it was, it was probably that charge by David Nwaba. Uh, I think that, that really changed the energy. Um, you know, we, Brimley been playing great the whole game, and uh, to, to be able to get a stop on on, the, on their player that was playing best, it, it really showed um, a lot of character on our, by our group. Yeah, it's kind of fitting on, on a night when you guys allowed them to shoot better than 50% that a defensive play wins the game for you guys. How did you overcome overcome their hot shooting? Um, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't do anything. Uh, the, the guys that they, they grew up in the fourth quarter, uh, Zoo was a big, big influence. Uh, I thought he stepped up and, and showed a lot of, a lot of character and a lot of poise, and um, you know, got some stops for us. And um, and then everyone else made some big plays. Vanda got to the hole, got to the free throw line. Harp made it, made a couple of big shots. And Josh does what he does. And um, David Nwaba showed uh, you know a ton of poise, ton of character. Yeah, Ivisa Zubats, he, uh, he didn't look too comfortable to begin this game, but he ends up finishing up with uh, 22 points and 11 rebounds. What did you make of his performance and how it turned somewhere in that second half? Well, like I said, defensively is the only thing that Zub needs to worry about. Uh, offensively, he's, he's skilled as any big guy in the NBA. Um, you know, his touch and his, and his feel is very good, and he's only going to get better on that end. But uh, defensively is where he needs to take a step forward every night. You guys shot about 37 free throws tonight. Vander had, he went 12 of 14 at the line. Is that something you guys are going into, uh, focusing on getting to the line, or is that just something that's happening in the rhythm of the game? Uh, it's not It's not a you know team focus. I think the way our offense is run is it gives opportunities for us to get downhill and, and, and attack the rim. And Vander's obviously one of the best in the league, probably the best in the league at doing that. So uh, um, just letting, letting guys play to their instincts. Last thing for you, Coach, Jeff Ayers joined the team today. He obviously didn't have a lot of time to practice, but a very talented player who's been in the NBA recently. Uh, what did you think about him and his minimal debut? Oh, you know, just he's just happy to be back in America and play, <laughs> playing on American soil. So he's great. He'll be great for us. And, and the more we get to know him uh, as coaches and as players, we're, uh, we're going to improve, improve even more. Thanks, Coach. Congrats again. Yeah.